Panther Nation, what's cracking? It's your boy Rashad from the Panther Nation podcast. Draft family, welcome to the show. Um, today we're going to look at Asante Samuel Jr. This guy is out of Florida State. Again, I'm dropping back to back, back to back Florida State guys. Marvin Wilson was done first. Um, and now we're on Asante Samuel Jr. I'm a Florida State fan, so it's a little biased. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm a recovering Florida State fan. We're all for the program is in shambles, but we still put, well, let me, I'll preface this by saying Jimbo is still producing NFL talent. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. But uh, shout out to Florida State, man. Shout out to the Seminoles. Uh, we still out here. Um, so, Santi Samuel Jr., again, if you're if you're around my age, um, you should be familiar with the name. His father is Santi Samuel, former uh, two-time, pro. Uh, excuse me, former two-time uh, Super Bowl champ, four-time Pro Bowler. Used to play with the Patriots. Used to play with the Eagles. Um, this kid was was pretty good. Okay, um, he's got uh, fifty-one interceptions over his career, six touchdowns, uh, seven forced fumbles, four hundred thirty-four tackles. Blah blah blah. The dude has it in his in his blood. He's 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 been uh, very productive at Florida State, uh, considering the circumstances on how trash they've been. He's been a bright spot along with Marvin Wilson. Uh, we still have NFL talent. It's just not being coached properly. Um, so Asante Sammy Jr., he's five foot ten, 184 pounds. That size is very, very similar to Dante Jackson, who we, us Panther fans, feel is a better fit at uh, slot cornerback. Uh, but Asante Samuel, I think, has the chops to play outside. I think he can add a little bit to his frame uh, without losing some of the athleticism. Uh, he's again five foot ten, one hundred and eighty four pounds. It's about the same size. I think Dante Jackson was maybe three pounds lighter when he came out. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, he's is I don't know if he's gonna fit the narrative or the fit the frame work of what uh, a, a Matt Rule is looking for. Matt Rule is a measurables guy. Matt Rule wants the six foot two outside cornerback. He wants a Caleb Farley. Uh, a patchy certain sick bigger cornerbacks i don't know if this is going to be a guy that he wants but considering that dante jackson has uh in the words of pat coltrane he has the gout um you know i don't know that <laughs> i don't know that uh he's going to be part of the plans long term so we may need a slot a slot guy corn elder may move on you never know um but so that's that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this. There's not a lot of film on the dude. Um, there's only this one game that he uh, had a monster game against Georgia Tech this year, um, and that's the only game that is available uh, for us to watch. So let's go ahead and get into this film real quick. Asante Samuel Jr., Florida State. Uh, shout out to the Seminoles. All right, so here we go. Asante Samuel Jr. is number 26 for those that are watching. Um and listen, the, the guy is, is, again, he's a physical guy. He does not shy away from contact. He's not he's not Dante Jackson in that sense. Dante was a guy that did not want – he didn't want no smoke. He didn't want any smoke with with uh, with the with the wide receivers as far as hitting uh, or in the run game. He didn't want no smoke. Asante Samuels is different. Um, he, he gets after it. Um, so I like Asante Samuels. So let's, let's peep him out. Number 26. Again, slight bias. I'm, I'm letting it be known. Slight bias toward my Florida State guys. And here we go. That's going to be a pick. I watched this game, so I'm, I'm very familiar. This game did happen this year uh, during COVID. Uh, so, you know, that's a good pick. Uh, they were, I think they were dropped back in a cover three, I want to say. Yeah, cover three, it looks like. Uh, cover two. And then he just, you know, recognizes. This is good. That's good uh, Good recognition, play recognition uh, by Santa Samuel. Good awareness, good instincts to go get the ball. Um All right, so let's see where we at. Oh, good block. Let's see some of this run support. Again, we got to get off those blocks. Same, I think I had uh, similar uh, criticism from the dude uh, from uh, South Carolina. He, he kind of shot away from that contact. Um, I want to see, I've seen Asante come up in run support. I've seen him get physical. He's a physical cornerback, a little bit different from Dante Jackson. So we'll see. That's another pick. Again, that's that's a that's a pitch and catch. He threw it right to him. He had to do much. Um, mm, nice blitz. Not not a Santi Samuel, but nice blitz. It's 
scramble. All right, not again, not a lot of bright spots on this this Florida State defense. You got Mar Marvin Wilson and you got uh, Santi Samuel, so those guys are pretty much it. Uh, and then again, I'm I'm only doing players that opted out for those that are watching. Only opt out players. Asante Samuel. Ooh, we should have picked that. Asante Samuel. Asante Samuel just opted out um, to to kind of prepare for the draft. So again, I see your requests. I, I'm gonna get to them, but I'm only getting the players that opted out. So bear with me. I'm not seeing Asante Samuel out here. He's 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 after his two picks. He's chilling, or they're not going at him anymore. Yeah, they're really they're really not gonna go his way anymore. Pretty much, uh, after those two picks, you 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 looking elsewhere. All right, here we go. He's looking that way. He's going that way. That's good PBU. That's good PBU. He's a physical dude, man. He knows what he's doing. It's in his blood. He it's in his blood. Okay, it's in Asante Samuel Jr.'s blood to go get this get this work. Oh, I like to see him wrap. Oh, he did got him. I like to see him wrap up there, kind of prevent that first down. But that's okay. That's okay. Get off that block. Yeah. That's not, I, I like to see him get off that block a little bit and, and kind of, you know, uh, shed the block and, and help out in the run. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, good. Good recognition. He, it was a good play action. He didn't bite or he slightly bit. He didn't chomp all the way down. That's just a lame dad. Lame dad joke. Sorry. I apologize. That was a good first down. He gave up right there. Um, oh, another good blitz flag. Another, another, another first down gave up. Uh, it looked like he's getting. It's hard to see with all twenty two. Here we go. It's a good view right here. Without the all twenty two, it's kind of hard to see him. Uh, see what he's giving up. Hmm. That wasn't on Asante Samuel, but that was awful. Awful play by the cornerback, the other cornerback. Uh, get in there, Asante. Yeah, there you go. He, he had like he he hesitated a little bit. He didn't want to smoke. He didn't want to smoke a little bit. He went in went in there and got the smoke afterward. But uh, he almost didn't want it. All right. So uh, that's gonna do it for Asante Samuel. That is the only film that I found on YouTube. I, I didn't do a, a you know heavy search, um, but that's the only film I found. But you just gotta trust me. You gotta trust my opinion. You're watching this, so I'm assuming that you trust my opinion. Uh, and it is a slight bias. I'm going to be honest with you. Asante Samuel is a Florida State guy, but he has the speed, okay? He has the athleticism to play outside cornerback. If you're looking for a guy that has that can play man-to-man, -man, if, you, if, if you're a, team, a fan of another team, you play man-to-man, -man, some zone, uh, he can do it all. I think he's a, I think he's a second second day pick, uh, second round pick, early second round. This cornerback draft is deep, uh, and he fits right into that. I think it's going to be a second round pick, day two pick. Um who could potentially slot up into the, the first round. Again, cornerbacks are starting to become more valuable. It's a passing league, so you need cornerbacks. You've got to have your cornerbacks. The only downside to his game is he lacks a little bit of that ideal size. You want a guy, tip, I mean, typically, ideally, if I'm building, I'm playing Madden, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a player, 6'2", um, 6'1", at least six foot, and I, I want him to be, you know, a 200 plus, you know what I'm saying, and, and athletic at the same time. It's tough to find that package. But that's what you want. Uh, that's what elevates you into the first round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I think that's why I think he drops a little bit. I think he's going to have a solid combine. This is done way before the combine, guys, way before the combine. I'm doing this in December, on December 1st. Uh, so, uh, again, um, for, for from the Panthers' perspective, if we're looking for a day two cornerback, I think he might be the guy. I think it really just depends on what we're going to do with Cornelder. Cornelder is on the contract year. Um, he's kind of playing that that inside role with Dante Jackson being hurt. I think Dante Jackson would be that guy. I like Dante Jackson. 
I think he's a good player when put in the right position to succeed. He's not an outside cornerback, okay? Dante Jackson should not be playing outside. should be playing the quicker, shiftier guys. And when he's put in that position, I think he's 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 capable. He should not be going up against Mike Evans, should not be going up against uh, – you need the bigger cornerbacks, the more uh, athletic, bigger – not more athletic because Dante Jackson is super athletic, but the bigger got physical cornerbacks um, to, to go up against those guys. And so, again, I don't know what they're going to – what the plan is for him long term. But if we're going to let them, both of them walk, going to let Corn walk, going to let Dante Jackson walk, because Dante Jackson is on a, a contract year next year, uh, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, then, you know, you may have a Asante Samuel Jr. step in and kind of take over that role. So, again, um, I like Asante Samuel. He's got it in his blood. His dad is a former, former Super Bowl champ, so he knows how to win. Um, and, again, I think he's a day two pick. That being said, I'm getting out of here. Make sure you like. Subscribe again if you're a fan of another team. These draft videos are coming, uh, coming in fast. Okay, so just go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.